Hi, this is Kelly from Pataka Kelly and Play Learn Talk. And today's tutorial I'm super excited to share and teach you because I spent a ton of time racking my brain trying to figure out this exact solution. So I have done three previous videos that all had to do with creating a drag and drop zone game where you're hiding items and you're worried about like, what are students gonna do when the wrong item is stuck in the drop zone? How do I get it out um, without using flow magic and keeping them on the same page? So. Um, we've come up with a solution and I'm going to quickly demonstrate it to you. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I think there's value in them and you can find them linked below in the comments and in the about description. But I'm going to demonstrate um, this new method here right now and then we're going to go into the workstation and you're going to learn how to do it yourself, okay? So let's go ahead and do it, all right? So we have a draggable pick and you'll notice when I move it around there is a tiny little drop zone behind it and these coins are attached to this drop zone, okay? I also have a red line here that I'll explain in just a moment why I have it there. So we'll put the pig back where we found it. And our instructions are put three coins in the piggy bank. So we want to put in the incorrect amount. Now I obviously have sound attached to them. All right, so we have five that are in there, okay? And what we want is to be able to move our pig out of the way in case our students have selected the wrong answer, okay? And as you can see, we can actually do that, which normally you cannot do, okay? So we're gonna move our pig up to this line, make sure his little back toe is on this uh, maroon line and hit submit. Whoops. So we get that whoops feedback and that's because we have five coins in there. So now we wanna be able to take two out and you notice they pop back to their place because they are attached to a drop zone. All right, so now we can move the pig back down or if we wanted to give our students, you know, another chance to really demonstrate um, their counting skills, we could pull them out in the drop zone itself, right? And then say one, two, three, we really have three right here. Then move the pig back down to cover it up and hit submit. All right, so the reason I'm able to do this is I have another drop zone that the pig is actually attached to. But the reason you can't see it is it is a hidden drop zone. So I will show you how to do that hidden drop zone now, okay? Um, if you would like to have a visible drop zone, I will also point out in the workstation right now how you can do that, okay? So let's scroll down to the bottom, and here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate the page and we can look at the coding. So on the duplicate page, I'm gonna get rid of these items here because they're not really important. These are just my instructions and you don't need to copy doing that, okay? So we're gonna get rid of all these little yellow things. And here is our page. So the reason the drop zone, the pig's drop zone is hidden is because instead of importing my images, new cards from images like I normally do, I normally uh, pre-create my backgrounds in Keynote and then import them using this uh, feature here. What I've done instead is I have actually pulled out an image, stretched it across the background so it, as, it appears as if it's a background, but it's not, okay? So we're actually going to get rid of this and click delete here. So you can see the pig's drop zone. So this is the pig's drop zone. It is stretched across the height of more than half the page, okay? And I have the pig attached to it, all right? Now, if I this is actually what allows my pig to move up. Now, the reason I move it up onto this line is the majority of your items, um, you know, mass or the pig's body, right, needs to be in this drop zone in order for the accuracy to be, um, you know, given as correct because the pig belongs in that drop zone. Okay, so we're going to move him up out of the way to reveal our other drop zone. And this is uh, the drop zone that the coins are attached to. Now you'll notice right now when I hover over it, they're actually in a caption pick. You do not need to do this. You can just do five draggable items or whatever you're doing and attach it. So this is not necessary. However, the reason I did it is because when you look at card size, after I had done, done all of my coding, when I did them individually, it gave me a little warning. When I put them inside the caption pick, it did not give me the warning. So it might be, you know, just receiving it in a different way. And since the caption pick is technically one item, I don't know what's what's going on, but it seems to be less less space being taken up. Okay, so that's my recommendation if you're getting a little warning. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Um, these are actually sounds. So instead of pulling out an image, what I did is I pulled out a sound and then I changed the background of the sound to my coin and then I made them all draggable. So 
we are going to go ahead and do this now. Okay, I'm going to start from a fresh page so that you can actually follow along. So let's go ahead and get a blank page here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out our pick because that's going to determine the space of our first drop zone. Okay, so let's pull out our pig. We might have to resize him later. We're not going to make him draggable yet. Let's go ahead and make his drop zone. Okay, so we're going to make his drop zone and then attach him. So I think there's a little delay here. Okay, so we're going to move this over and stretch it out across, and we're going to make it a drop zone. Now, when I go to make my pig draggable right now, I can't actually do it because he is behind the drop zone. So what I need to do is make sure I've clicked on the drop zone. I'm going to go to Z order and hit rear, and now my pig is available. So now I can click on him and make him draggable if I wanted to, but we're not going to do that yet. So what we're going to do first is we're going to pull out another text box, delete the text from within, stretch it out. We're going to move him down just a little bit, as much as we can go to give ourselves space. And then we're going to put this on top. So the reason I'm not making the pig draggable yet is if I did, it would be very hard to see this. We'd be guessing, right? Because it would be falling to the bottom most layer. Okay. So let's make this our drop zone here. I guess just this little area. And now we're going to make this a drop zone. And now we can make our pig draggable and we can attach him to this drop zone here, okay? And when we click on this drop zone, we don't have anything checked, it's just a drop zone. So now we're ready to do our images. Um, we can pull out the sound. Um, let's just pull out the image, okay? Because I already explained that. So we'll just pull out the images to make it easier. So here's one. We're going to size it down. Um, if you do have sound questions, leave a comment below, okay? Um, I just, my sounds are not organized <laughs> very well, so it would take me forever to find the little noise again. So I want to save you time. So we're going to make a draggable. And then what we're going to do now that we have the coding <clears throat> is we're going to pull out a caption pick, okay? So I'm going to delete what's inside. And then I'm going to stretch this out. For the sake of time in this tutorial, I'm not going to include the instructions at the top because your instructions are going to be different, right? So there's no need to do that. Okay, now let's click on this image here, and we are going to um, make sure that we click on the tail of it and Command C. Now we're going to click inside of the caption pick. We know because it's highlighted here, and do Command V. And we're going to do it four more times. So two, three, four, five. You notice it's happening because it's kind of flashing. It's pulsing each time. So now let's put our coins. They're really small. I guess I made them much smaller than before. Um, let's do this like this. Okay, and then we'll move one here and one here. Now, if you want to um, do something with the alignment, let's say you love the alignment of this one. You click on that first, and then you go to align and align vertical. Okay, I think they were all in the exact spot. So I'll do that with this row. And now I want to get rid of this border here, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, come over to border, and I'm just going to put none so that people don't even know it's there. All right, but if I wanted to move this around, this entire thing, I could actually move the entire entire thing as one. All right. Um, so now what do we need to do? We have our drop zone for our pig. Now we need to attach these. So actually let's, um, we can either make our pig undraggable, which would undo this, or we could just move it up. So that's the easier option. So now we're going to come over and attach each item using the little hand tool. And we're going to attach it to our drop zone. And the next step is going to be our paper clip. We just have to set our paper clip. Okay. So depending on what your qualifications are, you know, you will select a different amount, but we're going to select three and that is only going to accept three as the correct answer. So now we're ready to bring our pig down. The only other thing we're missing is the line, the little visual line. Okay, so we'll add that in just a moment once we have our background. So at this point in time, this is our backmost layer, our bottommost layer. We want to now import our background. So I'm actually going to go to a new page because you notice when I'm on this page, there's barely any area I can click on that's free. So on this page, I can click anywhere I want. It's very easy. I'm going to pull out an image, grab my background, let it get really big. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to click on it. Oops, I don't know what just happened there. Click on it, Command C, and then hopefully it'll transfer over here. Command V, and it does. Perfect. So now you see that actually, um, uh, let's see. 
actually it just already layered on top that's interesting my back background my back drop zone has already gone to the bottommost layer okay so we don't have to do anything there so now our only visible drop zone is going to be here I'm not seeing that either let's see oh okay it covered everything so all right so let's click on our background and then we're going to go rear we hit rear so now we have our big drop zone and we have our small drop zone okay so now we can actually click on this again and we can send that one all the way back all right so the only thing we need to do, need to do now is we need to figure out where this space is where the pig will be in the majority of the drop zone so the way we'll do that is by seeing where this ends okay and we want the pig to be at least somewhat in the drop zone so maybe here with his little feet here at the top of the pine cone maybe we need to make him a little bit bigger let's see okay so to get my line I'm gonna pull out a text box and I am going to delete what's inside and then I'm gonna give that space a color I'm gonna match it to his little Christmas pants give him like a maroon color Ooh, that was the border let's give the background maroon here we go okay so I'm gonna just do a small little line and put it here so like I said this is a new thing that I just figured out how to do so this is just my system at this moment in time um, is to have this little visual okay so I'm gonna put it there so that I know he needs to be standing on that portion and then I'm gonna bring him down okay so let's just click on him again and make sure he truly is the topmost layer I'm always a little suspicious so I always double click everything <laughs> I don't know how you are but um, all right so let's go ahead and put these in so we know we need three so we're gonna go ahead and put them in they fall all the way down and let's put all of them in and then we're gonna hit submit now we do need to move our pig up okay to that little area and let's hit submit Oops. and it's incorrect we get to move our pig up here and then we can just pop those coins out okay and now if we put them down again, which he could even stay up here if we wanted, but like, you know, they're going to want to have the pick down again. We can hit submit and it is positive. So it would progress you to the next page. Um, the reason it's not doing it right now is I had this deck set to flow magic because this is my working file for showing you guys stuff. Um, so if I set it to not flow magic, let's just make sure that it works and it would send us on to the next page. So let's go ahead and put three in there. See on the right hand side, everything is there. So when we hit submit, Oops. oh, because we need to move them up. <laughs> okay, we go like this and we would be able to go on to the next page, no problem, okay? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you're so excited about it too. It really took me a lot of mental energy, but I had fun doing it. And I look forward to um, seeing you guys in tomorrow's video, okay? I'm hoping to go back to my escape room tutorials. Um, I know I took a little break from that because I had a busy, busy week and those are um, somewhat complicated to do. So I'm going to head back to that and I will see you guys there. All right. Bye.